Hi, boys and girls. It's honeybee time. Not bumblebee, not wasp. Nope, not scavenger bee. We are going to be talking about the honeybee. Did you ever learn the song? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! It stung me. Now that's a bumblebee. If a honeybee stung you, do you know what would happen to that honeybee? Yes, it would actually die. Honeybees are so important to us and we don't want to try to catch them and we don't need to be very afraid of them because they don't really want to sting you. In fact, one way I can get rid of a honeybee or a bumblebee if it's near me is just by blowing on it. <sighs> And it will go away. Usually it's just busy trying to find the flowers where it collects nectar and pollen. Okay, so what do you know about the honeybee? Can you tell me, do honeybees have wings? Yeah. Are honeybees insects? Well, let's take a look. Three body parts? Mm-hmm. How many legs? Mm-hmm. Six. How many antennas? Two. Yes. So they're not in the spider family, right? They're in the insect family. You got it. How do honeybees eat? Do you know? Do they have teeth? Do they just drink out of a proboscis like the butterfly? What do you think? Some of you are just saying just drink, like the butterfly. Do you know honeybees can do both? They have a proboscis to drink with, and then underneath they actually have a little mouth with five teeth. They need that mouth and teeth because they have a big job to do when they collect the pollen and come back and build their hive made of wax. So they have to have a mouth with teeth too and a straw to suck nectar. Wow. What color are honeybees usually friends? Do you see some yellow and some black? Mm-hmm. That's good. Take a look at those eyes. Tell me about those eyes. Do you think they have good vision? We know spiders can't see very well or snakes can't see very well, right? Well, honeybees can see right through clouds and they know where the sun is, even on a really, really cloudy day. They have compound eyes and kind of x-ray vision to see right through the clouds. They need to know where the sun is because they tell their friends where those flowers are that have the nectar by looking at the sun and showing them the direction of where those flowers are. So what else can you tell me about honeybees, guys? Do they just go and find nectar and do anything with it? What do you think they do with it? Make honey. Yes, they do. And where do they make that honey, do you think? Do they go by themselves in a little house somewhere? Hive. Good boys and girls. They make a hive. And there are hundreds and hundreds of them all working hard together. What's on the back of the honeybee? Do you remember what that little pointy thing is? Yes, that's their stinger, and that's what they use to protect themselves because they don't want to be eaten by a spider, they don't want to be eaten by a bird, and they don't want you to hurt them. So that stinger is only used when they really need to use it because once they sting one time, they die. Yeah. Honeybees are so important to us, my friends. And I am going to read to you first a story called The Honeybee and the Robber, and we'll find out a few things about the honeybee, and then I want you to be thinking 
about why the honeybee is so important to humans on our planet called Earth. Okay, are you ready? Okay. The Honeybee and the Robber by Eric Carle. And he's so good at making sure the bee has the right body anatomy to match an insect. Six legs, three body parts, two antennas, and most insects have a set of wings. Okay. I've had this book a long time, so hopefully all the parts will work. It's one of those movable books where I pull a tab and I can make things move. Okay. Here we go, there's our honeybee. And there's my tab so I can make its wings move in and out. Oopsie, my tab isn't working very well, so I'll make its wings move. There we go. This has been used many times by other kids. Okay. In a hive inside an old hollow tree lived a honeybee. With her lived many, many other bees. One warm morning, the air was filled with the sweet smell of flowers. The honeybee and her sisters flew out of the hive. And look at that. Going into that flower. The flower opened up her petals to welcome the honeybee. Why would the flower want the honeybee to come in there? Hmm. Do you know, my friends, that they help each other? The honeybee takes the pollen on its legs and drinks up the nectar. And when it travels to the next flower, it drops some of the pollen. And that pollen helps more of this same flower grow. So the honeybee helps make more of the flowers that it lands on. It's a helper to the flower. And the flower shares its nectar so that the honeybee can feed, go back to its hive and feed its family. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Inside each flower is a tiny droplet of water. With her long tongue, the honeybee sips up a little nectar. Okay, and the honeybee has two stomachs. One holds that nectar and the other is used for digestion. So she can hold that for quite a long time till she gets back to the hive. Now remember some of those predators? There's a bird, oh no, look at its beak, just about to eat that honeybee. Oh, the honeybee flew from flower to flower gathering nectar. When she had gathered enough, she started to fly back to the hive. A hungry bird swooped down and tried to catch her, but the honeybee was, <gasps> good news, too quick. Oh my goodness, this fish, let's see if I can get this one to work. This one's actually missing the tab, so let's see what happens in this one. Then the honeybee was thirsty. She flew to the pond to drink water. Now what two things could eat her, my friend? Yes, a frog, and yes, a fish. Let's find out if they do. A hungry fish and a hungry frog both tried to catch her, but the honeybee was much too quick for them, too. Oh, do you remember our beautiful butterfly? Look at that symmetry. Do you remember what that word means? Same on both sides, and look at all those legs. Then a, a butterfly fluttered by, let's play, it said, and together the honeybee and the butterfly danced in the sky. I must go now, said the honeybee after a while. The baby bees must be fed and honey must be stored. The hive in the old tree was a busy place. Bees were coming and going at the entrance of the hive stood the guard bee you better be careful said the guard bee to the honeybee they say there's a robber about but the honeybee paid no attention she crawled past the guard and into the hive and inside were rows and rows of cells 
made of wax. And each of those cells is shaped like a hexagon, my friends. A six-sided shape. Do you see the shape I'm showing you? One, two, three, four, five, six. Made of wax, which they pull off of their forehead with their feet. And they use the pollen and they make little teeny rooms or cells and the hexagon shape allows them to make lots and lots and lots it's a very efficient shape the bees were making honey using the nectar where'd you find all this nectar the bees asked the honeybee watch me dance and you will see and the honeybee did a dance by wagging her little abdomen a certain way called the honeybee dance to tell the other bees where that flower was that she got the nectar and they watch her do this dance and wag her abdomen and they say oh I see outside go to the left and then go to the right and then a little bit north there are the flowers thanks for telling us where to go honeybee then she saw the queen bee, the big one right here. Only the queen lays the eggs. The queen was busy laying an egg in each cell. Do you see each of the cells has an egg in there? And then the egg turns into a larva and then a full grown bee. Look at that. Metamorphosis, when something changes from that to this. Egg, caterpillar or larva, then it goes to sleep and wakes up as a honeybee. And look at the sides of that cell. One, two, three, four, five, six. It was then there was a terrible noise. It's a the robber. It was a bear trying to break in and steal the honey. Oh my gosh, another predator was trying to break in and steal that honey. Ah! How do the bees protect themselves, my friends? Do you remember? The guard bee hadn't seen him, but the honey bee had. Out flew the little honey bee, and she stung that bear right on the nose. But since this is an Eric Carl story, that honeybee does not die. That honeybee just did a little sting, not very deep. So it was able to scare that bear away and still make it back to the hive to keep working. Ouch, 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 said the bear. As more bees came out to scare him away, the queen, the eggs, and the larva, and the bees, and the honey were safe again. In the hive, inside the old hollow tree, it was all quiet and time to rest. Tomorrow will be another busy day. Wasn't that a great story? And if you notice this, those aren't knee pads. That's the pollen that the honeybee collects from the flower. And inside that honeybee are two stomachs. She's holding nectar. So she brings nectar and pollen back to the hive. Isn't that? Oh, the boys and the girls work so hard. In fact, they're called the worker bees. And we talked about guard bees. And then we have the queen bee. And we have drones that stay inside the hive. It's quite a busy life. Okay, my friends, you may get your bee trunk, tree trunk for your hive and all your little hexagons ready and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.